Thanks for joining us. Our own Kate Lockwell is reporting live from the refugee ship Skinner 2 in orbit around the planet Meinhof. Donnie, the death toll out here is soaring. Massive refugee fleets like this one are struggling to reach the safety of the core worlds. Many of them won't. They're short on food, water, Kate, and hope. we'll discuss how the Dominion will rescue those worlds when we get there. There's a lot of talk about rescue among the refugees, but they're pinning their hopes on paramilitary and rebel groups such as Raiders... Great report, Ra Kate. Live from a refugee ship over Meinhof, where everyone eagerly awaits the Dominion's return. Up next, a Vermilion commentary. Refugees, are they really our responsibility? You're all heart, Donnie. Commander, the alien artifact is all secure in the lab, sir. You know, seeing it got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? You doing some kind of research down here? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? All kinds of things. I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. Just try not to blow up the ship. Okay, Stedman? Hope that thing was worth all the effort. It really is fascinating, Commander. Preliminary analysis suggests that its energy signature radiates at ten times the magnitude of any previously recorded alien antiquities. Yeah, well, don't start picking at it, Stedman. With our luck, you'd probably just open up a black hole and swallow the ship. Goodness! Well, <laughs> I hadn't factored the odds of that potentiality. Never thought we'd be back on Meinhof again. Oh, we broke our backs trying to make a life on that rock. Kelmorian squeezing us dry. The day we rose up, we just couldn't take it anymore, you know? I feel you. Man's got a duty to stand up and be counted sometimes. Oh, hell, we were stupid. Having right on your side ain't no match for goss guns and combat walkers. A lot of folks died for nothing. If you hadn't shown up when you did, hey. Your people bought their own freedom, paid for it in blood. Me and Matt, we were just glad to help. Well, Ariel, found a world for your people yet? Yes, an unclaimed planet called Haven. It's near the edge of Protoss space, but it seems safe enough. It'll have to do. Your people need to lay low for a while. Aren't either of you worried the colonists might be infested? How could you even suggest that? They're perfectly healthy. I hope so, Ariel. The Protoss don't mess around when it comes to infestation. Just in case, maybe you should start looking into some kind of cure for the Zerg virus. Conventional wisdom says a cure is impossible. The virus mutates too fast. But I'll look into it. Just do what you can. That's all anyone's asking. I'm working on a cure for the Zerg virus. 
I just hope my people won't need it. Kerrigan's learning some new tricks. The infestation on Meinhof seemed particularly virulent. It's about the worst thing I can imagine. Losing who you are like that, all the while being slowly twisted into a damn monster. If any of Dr. Hansen's people on Haven are infested... I know. It's just a matter of time before the Protoss come looking for them. Still, I have a history with the Protoss. If it comes to that, maybe I can talk them down. Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monlith. Supposedly there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Cause they ain't. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. Minerals. Who wants some? I feel ya. Ah! You scared me! The Zerg severely outnumber the Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Well, here's the plan. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. Protoss stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. SCV ready. Incoming transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in Big Bada Boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. Armed and ready. Then. 
That's fine. Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. Wasting. Go on. Oh, it's on. the number. 
got it. Gangway, coming through. Can't wait. Say there, baby. What's up? Why not? Got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. We got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. 
I won't make that mistake twice.